Hey guys and welcome to my new video and today it's going to be for my review of the upcoming film CBGB's which is basically the biopic of the owner of CBGB's Hilly Crystal which started CBGB's back in the mid 70's which really got the careers of the Ramones, Blondie, Talking Head, Television, Dead Boys, all the early punk rock bands really got their start at CBGB's in the mid 70s in New York, which just, you know, exploded the whole punk rock scene in the 70s. But for maybe some of you who might remember, last summer I got to actually be an extra in CBGB's. I went all the way down to Savannah, Georgia, and got to be an extra. And for some of you who don't remember or you do remember maybe we might need to take a little flashback and remember that moment in time of being an extra on CBGB's it was just like it was yesterday video where they're going to see what clothes we're going to wear for the movie this is the actual studio right here as you can see we got a classic taxi cab over here from the 70's and uh, Healy's Piano Movers, which I think that might something to do with uh, Healy Crystal, the owner of CBGB's, but we are here, so come along with us. Check out this old taxi cab from the 70s. It's going to be used in the movie. Pretty classic. New York style. Hey, what's up guys, just wanted to show you my outfit for what I'm going to wear for CBGB's as an extra. What do you guys think? Is it 70's punk rock? Let me know. Anyway. Good times. Good times. Okay guys, so here's my review of CBGB's due out October the 11th. You got top name Hollywood actors like Alan Rickman, Rupert Grant from the Harry Potter series, you got Ashley Green from the Twilight series, you got Malin Ackerman, you might remember her from Rock of Ages, uh, Justin Bartha from the Hangover movie, Estelle Harris, George's mom on Seinfeld, Taylor Hawkins, the drummer of the Foo Fighters. He's going to be playing Iggy Pop. Um, Johnny Galecki, I think that's his name, from the Big Bang Theory. You're going to have a lot of top-name Hollywood stars going to be in this film. Okay. Um, and the scenes that I actually got to be an extra in, there was a scene that we did with the Dead Boys and Justin Bartha... Who's, who was playing the scene of the Dead Boys, we had to film a scene where he actually threw the microphone over this, like, rail where we, he would hang himself and he would kind of, like, choke himself and lift himself up in the air. We had to do that, like, for a few takes. And Rupert Grant, he had on, like, a blue uh, shirt with a dog collar chain. I'm, like, in the front row... It was hot. This place had no air conditioning. We were in this like warehouse. They had built this like setup of the actual CBGB setting, and there was word on set that they had actually brought the one of the original toilets to be filmed in the movie, and it was actually on this little stage pro production set that they had built up. And the other scene that I know we filmed in was uh, Donald Logue. He brought in Estelle Harris, who is playing Alan Rick, Rickman's mom in the movie. And Donald Logue comes in and kind of like pushed me out of the way to let Estelle Harris sit in. I don't know if that might have made the film. But if you guys see me in the film, please let me know. Because this is probably the best experience I ever had working on a movie set. And uh, it was an awesome time. I think I made like 99 bucks. Uh, I got had to be there at like 7 a.m. and didn't leave the set till like 7 p.m. It was a blast, and I wish I could do it all over again. But I'm going to put a link 
to the CBGB's uh, trailer in the description box. I want you guys to check it out. Let me know. Do you think it's worth checking out? Do you think it's going to be just a total crap fest? I want to hear what you guys have to say. Like I said, link in the description box. Let me know what you think. Like this video. And I hope you guys go check out CBGB's out October the 11th. And keep supporting punk rock music. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks, you guys.